Hi everyone, um, really love doing this type of makeup. It's kind of like a back to school makeup. What I mean by that is just sort of soft, healthy looking skin with some nice warm tones that look really nice against a crisp white shirt. Um, thank you very much to Debenhams. They've partnered with me in this film and all the makeup that I've used, you can get online at debenhams.com. They have so many great brands and a real cross section of prices too. And here is a little edit and collection of, of my favorites for this look. I'm gonna go straight in with Revolution Pro. Now this is such a brilliant brand. Now this is their SPF 50 primer. So we're gonna start with this. Um, now you do know that obviously I like to use lots of expensive skincare. And when I find skincare that actually works at a lower price point, I literally jump at it. And this is fantastic. It is so lightweight. Um, it's brilliant under makeup, especially even for my skin that's slightly on the dry side. But if you have normal to combination skin, you're going to love this because it slightly tightens um, and creates a really nice surface um, for the makeup to adhere to, but it doesn't shrink my skin or make my skin look part. So as you can see, it was pure white when it went on, but there's no ghostly finish to this at all. It's a really, really good find. So if you're looking for great protection and a great primer, I can highly recommend this. Oh, I know you'll ask, my nails are obviously Nails Inc. Um, and this shade is Regal. I just love it, so nice. I just love their color palette. They really get it time and time again. Okay, so we're gonna go and start um, in with the base, first of all. Now, I'm not quite ready to go for a full on makeup yet. Um, I will do, obviously going to the cooler months, but I'm gonna use this Mineral Makeup Pure um, natural brand. Um, again, mineral makeup is just fantastic if you've got sensitive skin. Um, and if you go online and look at the reviews of this product, um, it's rated highly. This is their four-in-one tinted moisturizer. Now, this is gonna give my skin a lovely glow. It's not going to, it's also SPF 20, but I mean, obviously you've got the SPF protection within your primer anyway. Um, this is not gonna perfect my skin perfectly, but I'm gonna use a little concealer just for the redness, but I actually don't mind because I don't want my skin to be 100% perfect. There are times for that, right? But if I was doing my makeup, going back to work, then this is all I would really want for that. But what I love, as you can see, woof, it gives a really beautiful hydrated glow and that does last. You know how much um, that I love that kind of radiance to skin. So I'm not going to use any other highlighters. I'm just going to allow that to kind of do its magic on each side of my face because um, I'm going to mattify the front bit. So four in one and that's TN2 um, as a shade. Um, very yellow. I like yellow because you can see in my skin when I touch it I get very red and I've got sort of like um, a very red chin. So I might just put a little bit more for coverage on there. Now, the concealer I'm going to use is by Bare Minerals. Um, this is the Bare Pro. I love any concealers that come in this kind of stick formula. Um, this is Fair Cool. So it's, as you'll see in a second, it's very light um, compared to my base. So that's the base color. I'll just show you there. And that's the, so you can see the difference, right? Now, if you're covering up pigmentation, um, blemishes or, or anything on the side of your face here that you need to conceal, then you obviously get a concealer that is going to match the color of your skin so you don't see any difference. But just to kind of really enhance your face shape, <laughs> um, you want to use a lighter color around this T-zone and it makes such a difference to the final um, finish of the makeup. In fact, even though I look slightly ridiculous, once I'm all blended, the actual effect of the two tones together makes the effect of the foundation look much more natural. I'm gonna use one of the Katie Jane Hughes brushes actually, and this is 01. These brushes are so soft and fluffy. Um, they're almost just like a delicate whisk across the skin. Really, really lovely. So yeah, so that is my base. So you can see how that's really lifted underneath my eyes. The sunshine is out, the clouds are moving left, right and centre, so you'll have to go <laughs> with this natural light, but I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. So that's my base done. I'm gonna go in with a bit of the Diego de la Palma rice powder, 
um, which I really like. It's a translucent powder, super lightweight, easy for me to use. Um, and I'm going to probably just use it with the same brush actually. And I'm just going to press the powder in. Um, rather than brushing, because what I'm trying to do with this action here is I'm actually trying to push the powder in to absorb the oil that I don't want. Um, if I then do this, do 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 watching, it just basically sweeps very nicely the powder across my face, but it's not actually doing what I need it to do. So I just use that as a pressing action, and I'm probably just going to press a little bit more. It actually comes with a puff, which is very nice. Um, and if you've got oilier skin or you tend to sort of get a little bit oilier, just using the puff. Oh, where is it? I was using it a moment, a moment ago. Here it is. Um, that comes on the top of that and just press it into the sides. Something quite comforting about using a little puff on your skin. Right, so make sure that's all blended. Now, the look of today is going to be this really um, lovely luxe matte eye with this kind of fresh complexion. I really hope you're going to like it. I'm going to just clean up my eyebrow now with a bit of my cellular water because I'm going to be using some eyebrow inks. Um, you know me, I just sort of chuck on a cold pencil. You know, sometimes it just gets a little bit, I'd say tedious because I love doing makeup, but sometimes doing your makeup is just like, just chuck a face on. So I just chuck a cold pencil. But if I've got a little bit more time, or especially if I'm at work, I will use inks. And I love the Steeler inks and Debenhams Stock Steeler and that is great news. Now I'm going to use two shades. Oh, let me show you this, is what I found on Debenhams too. I've never come across this. This is the Flat Lay Company. Um, really soft, I know my obsession with green continues. So you put all your brushes, and I've actually put my Steeler inks in there as well, and a couple of eyebrow pencil, uh, eye pencils and a mascara, and then you zip it up. But when you come to open it out, you peel it back and it just sits on the table which I quite like. I wouldn't use this for work, it's too small, but actually sat on my desk table here, it just prevents all the brushes getting dusty and you know mixing with the makeup and the makeup bag. So yeah, top tip if you're interested. Um, right, so I'm going to use the two Steeler inks that are medium and dark. And I'm gonna start with the darker one and then fill in with the lighter one. I brushed through as you saw, and my other tip to share with you today is to keep your inks down because then it just really helps. You see what I'm doing? It really helps um, with the flow. So if you actually store it, and you store it the other way around, when you come to paint in your brows, you might find that it's a little bit um, intermittent. You just literally paint in. The tension or the pressure that I'm using is super, super light. I'm literally just sort of almost touching and pulling away. Um, and then you just take a little spoolie and then just soften it. Now it's gonna be much more exaggerated here because I don't have that many brows. So I have to kind of fill it in. So I do it quite lightly on the inside here. And then I have to go a little bit heavier on the outside, but I'm gonna mix the two colors together to make it uh, even. And let's just do the other side. So again, from the tip up, 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 just a few little ones here because I'm sparse in this area and it really does make such a difference. Be careful not to go down, Caroline. Keep it up. Never want anything to go down. And then here, let's check you can see. Pull that back, 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 back. Nice. And you know, brows aren't meant to be perfect. So don't panic too much. And of course you just put the spoolie through and just make them a little bit irregular. Now I need to bring it down here on this one. It's a really nice way of putting on your eyebrows. Okay, I didn't need to wait for it to dry or anything. Put that back in my little pouchy. Oh, pouchy, that's what my um, on-set makeup bag is called. I mean, that probably sounds a bit silly to you guys. I've had this pouch for like 25 years. It's actually a, um, a Sparks pouch, meaning like an electrician's pouch, because you can strap it around your waist and then work. I don't like the baggy things, as in makeup bags that swing around. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Let me just connect that a little bit to that one. 
lovely, so easy. So if you are thinning like me in your eyebrows and you want to fill in, try this. Just make sure you connect so that both of them look the same from either end if you've got completely crappy brows like me. Right, okay, now, so the palette I chose, this is one I love and it's a classic, it's Naked 2 um, by Urban Decay. And if you're my skin coloring, you're going to love all of these shades. This is great for a darker skin, but you're slightly limited. This is much more for a sort of a medium to paler skin tone. They do hundreds of palettes, as you well know. So I'm gonna go first in with this one and then darken it on the outside and then blend with the third. So it's these three that I'm going to use. So let's go in first with number 12 brush and the shade is Primal. So my eye shut, my lid is nicely matte because I place the powder over it, absorbing any oil, which means it should go on <laughs> nice and smoothly, which it does. I'm pulling my eye like that, you know, super gently, because if you just look straight in the mirror and put it on, um, because my eye is slightly bumpy, it won't sit evenly and it will look uneven. So I'm gonna take that right up into here. Nice. There's something just really lovely. Well, you know how much I love textures anyway. If it's a sparkly eye with, you know, velvet skin, I just love, I love the finish of a matte eye and a just a very hydrated, healthy looking skin, right? And it's sort of contemporary enough, but also sort of quite corporate as well. It's sort of pulled together professional. So I'll just keep building very slowly, working it all in, making sure I'm getting close to the look, close to the lash line. And then we'll use a nice blending brush. Where is my blending brush? And I'm just making sure that that just really feathers out. And you can't see where it stops or finishes. Oh, mucky pup. Lovely. Okay, so now just to get a little bit of um, definition on the outside, I'm going to go in with Undone, put that on the brush. Now these are really dark, rich pigments, so be careful that you don't overdo it straight away. You look like, ooh, but because you've got a nice base, when you put it on, I'm just gonna really push that socket back there. And just be careful you don't bring the eyeshadow down. You've got to have this, in this invisible line almost from underneath your lower lashes up. So you keep it all up and going out. Take a little cotton bud. And just soften that smudge there. Don't worry that it looks like that now because you just go in with your smudger. And then look how nicely they blend together. Okay, so just put it on and just look directly in the mirror and just kind of really push that socket back and don't worry about it not blending perfectly because you'll be able to come back and do that later with all the colours fused together. It's just nice and important to get the colours on first. And then take your blending brush and then just push quite firmly over and then you can see all those sort of uneven eyeshadow marks just blending smoothly together and what's lovely with this is that once you've put that on making sure you've got that lovely lift on the outside there all the time so you get a slightly bigger brush um, let's choose this one and I'm going to go in with cover so that's the third shade so this is the lightest out of all of them and then I just push that right up into my brow so it just doesn't look so heavy and if you've got quite hooded eyes this is a really nice trick to do because it just breaks the heaviness of that shade and it makes it just more sort of soft and smoky so you don't really see where the shadows start and finish, that that's key. And of course you can just go in with a little bit of base and just tidy up if you just need to. See now, now I've got in my zone, 
Oh, now I've gone in my R, oh, I'm doing my makeup, it's actually quite calm, rather than just a chore, which is what I said earlier, which is sometimes a bit a load of rubbish now. I'm quite happy. So, eyeliner. For this look, I'm using the brilliant, if you've never tried, Elizabeth Arden Hydrama. So, so nice for putting eyeliner inside your eye. Now, the waterline of your eye is a great place to shape your eye because it makes your eye intense. But I have a friend who literally puts on a bit of SPF and her eyeliner and that's it. And I'm like, oh God, I don't want to name her, poor thing. Um, I was like, just put a bit of mascara on. If you've only got time for eyeliner, only one product, just put mascara on because the liner alone is making your eyes look really small. As you can sort of see what's happening now, even though I've got the shadow on, if I just put the eyeliner on, it makes your eyes look really small. So just put mascara on. No, oh, I like it like this. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. She wasn't having any of it. But if you like the effect of putting um, a very soft cold pencil, um, like the Elizabeth Arden one, in your waterline, um, please use mascara because it, otherwise it will shrink your eye and using the mascara will really open out your eye. And if you've got tiny eyes and you think, oh God, every time I do that, it would look really small, make sure you loop eyeshadow around the tops and bottoms of your eyes and it will make such a huge difference. So always use a couple of coats. Top one done, bottom one done. This is a great brush. It's slightly curved, as you can see. Nice short bristles, which I love so I don't make a mess everywhere. Um, formula is brilliant, super, super rich, but the subtle bend just helps me get that lift just where I want it there. So you kind of see the difference now. You've got the intensity with this look against the soft matte and then the lashes. Lovely, well put together. Now, I love, and have always loved, Stila blushes. Oh, come on, I'm sure you've all had, especially the round discs, they used to come in with the colors. I had them in my kit, I was so proud of them. I used to lay them out and I'd know exactly which shade to go for. Now they're um, in these little, I mean, they're still very glamorous and very nice, but I'm just being nostalgic. Um, this is Sheer Peony. I mean, come on. I love these sorts of muted, nudey tones. I think they are so flattering. The darker your skin, the more pigment you're going to need. But these tones are just such sort of lingerie, ice cream. Oh God, I can't think of the word. Just loveliness. <laughs> it's just very satisfying. I don't, I'm not a fan of sort of bright berries or bright colours. I like on the cheeks to sort of, well, for this look anyway, I mean, there's always a reason, but it's just, I think it's feminine and I think it's flattering. Um, and because we are doing a very sort of like soft, nudie, tonal look, then this works really well. And I'm just gonna sort of put it literally on, on the apples of my cheeks and then just take it slightly up just for a sort of soft lift. Now for the lips, I'm gonna use two products. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner now, um, sometimes I don't bother with lip liners. I'm quite obsessed with Diego Della Palma's lip liners actually at the moment. They're really, really nice. This shade is 41. The reason is that my top lip is a little bit bumpy. Um, and when you use a matte texture over the lip line, if you're just gonna overline it very slightly, just giving a little bit of a hip to my lips, um, it makes all the difference. If I were a gloss, I wouldn't really wear a gloss. If I wear it's like a balmy lipstick, um, then I just don't take it this high because it just um, exaggerates the bumps. I mean, how nice is this colour? This colour works, actually, look. Just beautifully by itself. Okay, just get that balance. Bring that down a little bit. And I'm gonna pair it with Grace. Grace is one of my favorite shades from Bare Minerals, the minimalistic lipsticks, if I've got that right. I'm going. I'm waiting for my new glasses to arrive because I literally can't see, but I'm sure they're called minimalist lipsticks. If not, I'll change the text. Uh, I've used them loads on the films. I love these lipsticks, great color, 
great hydration but not too shiny and just pat that on and I use that for my touch-ups during the day I mean this will even work beautifully as a as a blush lovely right I might do a little bit more soft powder Maybe I'll just do my puff that's what I'll do on my artists before they leave me just press in a little bit of loose uh, translucent powder in those areas of shine great and uh, I might even just tie my hair back ready for work no that's too going back to school isn't it Anyway, keep my hair down. Um, well, I hope you love the look and the concept and the feel of this makeup as usual. It'd be brilliant to get your thoughts and um, have a great discussion below. And thank you again to Debenhams. Um, One-stop shop for all your best beauty buys and next day delivery. So thank you very much for working with me on this today and I hope you like my edit. Bye for now.